Hello learners! Welcome to Media and Information Literacy Tutorials. I am Sir Neil, one of the teachers of MIL, and I will walk you through the process of the video campaign that you have just watched. This tutorial will cover three stages of video production, specifically pre-production, production, and post-production. Are you guys excited? Let's begin! In my case, I have picked SDG number 3, which promotes good health and well-being. And there are numerous concerns that were mentioned under this SDG, but after doing research, it led me to one of the root causes of these problems, and that is the lack of proper, accurate, and reliable information. Which is why my agenda then was to raise awareness about people's responsibility in consuming reliable information. Which is why my agenda was to raise awareness about people's responsibility in sharing valid information. With that message in mind, I then translated it as a short story for my video campaign. At this point, you already know the different formats, genres, and creative techniques that you may use for your video. However, always consider your target audience. What is the best approach that would appeal or attract your viewers. Now, in my campaign, I designed my message through the character of Stella, a young innocent girl who will represent those people who were victims of fake news. Like in any video campaign, the end goal there is to encourage the audience to take some action. We can enlighten our audience by putting up some effective action statements like commanding our audience or better yet, use action words. In my example, I used before you share, validate. Be an information literate. Now, after writing your shooting script, it's time to plan ahead the shots. Storyboard is helpful in visualizing how each shot will be taken. Take note that a shot refers to a single thing. Therefore, you have to illustrate each shot so that you will be guided in shooting your scenes. A storyboard includes the specific camera distance, camera angle, and camera movement. Now that you have your screenplay and storyboard with you, it's time to proceed to the production stage. Production stage is when you will now actualize your vision. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be using our smartphones. However, regardless whether you will be using your phones or your digital cameras, here are the points that you need to remember when shooting your scenes. Number one. Choose a video orientation. Typically, we use landscape setting on films instead of portrait as it is how we normally see the world. Our visions allow us to see more to the left and right rather than top and bottom. Unless you have a different intention, better to stick with this video orientation. Number 2. Frame rate. Frame rate refers to the numbers of frames taken per second. This is adjustable depending on how fast you want your camera capture the movement of your subject. Normally, we put it to 24 to 30 frames per second. However, you may increase the frames per second, especially if you are planning to put it in slow motion during the post-production. Number 3. Setting your focus. Camera movements tend to make the camera automatically adjust on its own depending on the exposure or the movement of the subject. If you don't want this to happen, lock in your subject. You may do this by tapping to your subject long enough until you see a yellow square that would indicate the focus point. Once you've set your focus, you can also adjust the exposure or the brightness if necessary. To adjust exposure, just swipe up or down on the screen. Number 4. Recording the audio. Do not forget to record the audio as clearly as possible. You may just use the built-in microphone on your devices, or you may also use external microphones, especially if you want to capture the sound or the lines coming from your characters. A clapper or anything that would produce a strong sound, like your hand, would be very much helpful in synchronizing your audio and video during the editing phase. So do not forget, before taking a scene, make a loud sound. Also, apply the principles of cinematography. 
your visual elements will enhance your story. So make sure that your lighting, your camera angles, and movements are cohesive with the story that you would want to tell. Welcome to the last stage of filmmaking. After shooting your scenes and recording your sound, we will now be stitching together these elements. This demonstration will focus on the process of video editing. Therefore, you may just choose any video editing software that is available to you. Importing your videos. Of course, we need to transfer the videos taken from the camera to the editing system. For a smoother flow of work, make sure that you organize your media. Identify which shots you are going to use and which you are going to get rid of. Editing your story. Now this is when you sequentially build your shots according to how you visualized it. Use your script and your storyboard so that you will be guided in this process. Trimming our clips. Our goal is to have a smooth flow from one shot to the other. By trimming our clips, we decide where the clip would end and where the next one would begin. Utilizing transitions. There are three categories of transitions. There's cuts, dissolves, and wipes. Each is used depending on what emotion the editor would want to create. The most effective transition is when your audience do not notice it. You might use match cuts. It's when you compose two different shots and are matched by a subject's action. Mixing your audio. Audio has several functions in a film. It helps shape emotional responses and it also creates rhythm into your scenes. There are plenty of royalty-free music that are available online. Don't forget, always consider copyright especially when you are planning to exhibit your work publicly. Adding texts. Texts such as subtitles will make your video more accessible to a wider audience and that includes foreign language speakers and hard of hearing individuals. Also, when you are adding your action statement, make sure that it's short but it's impactful. Consider using the most appropriate font style, font size, and the color contrast to make it readable. Exporting your media. Lastly, if you have already polished and finalized your output, we are now ready to export our media. Do not forget to save the project just in case you still need to re-edit it. And that's how you produce a video campaign. Just remember, start with your purpose and contextualize your message. In these simple steps, we will be able to maximize the power of communication. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you soon for our next Amaya tutorial. This is Sir Neil in service for the greater glory of God.